Hey folks, E.T. here coming at you with the next portion of our new crash course, which is Scanny. To get to Scanny, you click on our menu button, you come here, you click stock. Now, Scanny is what you're going to want to use at the end of the day or just a little bit before close to start to do homework for further out plays. Maybe you're looking for a swing, you're just checking for tomorrow to see what's going on. There are quite a few things that we can click here. So we're just going to go through and kind of go through the, the settings, take our time, see what, it, see what it looks like, go through all this information. So min price, for me, I'm going to be honest, I like to go $15. You do what you want to do. You can type in your minimum volume, your max volume, your minimum change. All of that information will just start to pull up. Then as you can see, we don't have a ticker below $15 now. Now we're going to start going through our filters, and there is a bunch of of information here. So what you're really looking for, this is to be honest, this is a very powerful tool. And if you know what you're looking for, if you trade a specific way, you're going to find the indicators that you're looking for here through this information. So I am a simple person. I look for either horizontal support, horizontal resistance, AVWAP support, or AVWAP resistance. All right. So for now, I'm just going to click on everything that is sitting at a support. Okay. So there's, that's drilled it down a little bit. We have a few less tickers now showing up. Let's scroll down a little bit and just see how many pages we have. We're down to one. That's not too bad, to be honest. One page isn't so bad. So if I'm, for, if I'm looking for things that are at support, what I'm looking for are things that have potentially some signals that might that might point upwards or might just be resting on a support as they go along. So let's see here. Baba looks interesting. Let's see. We want to deep dive Baba a little bit. It actually has a few bullish things, and then it definitely has a bearish thing with a descending triangle. It explains how these work, right? But your daily price is touching a horizontal support, and it's got a hammer candlestick. Those do look a little bit bullish. Okay, so from there. Let's just click on the chart, see what it looks like. Everything had that big downtrend day uh, Thursday, so we know what that looks like. We can check its net flow. Net flow is actually somewhat bearish, but that can flip. We can see if there's any news out there that's caused anything to happen that's made it go that direction. But our plus here will keep us kind of getting a nice look to see what signals the platform is actually getting. And then from there, you just do a little bit of your own DD and start to check. All right. And you can also go to its charts page. You can pull up its support resistance there on the daily. You can pull up its gamma. You can pull up its dark pools. You can start to see if you can start to put things together to start to make plays. Every Sunday, uh, for the most part, I make a week ahead video, and this is actually where I start on the week ahead video for longs and shorts by looking for things that are at support first to find longs and looking looking for things that are at, that are at resistance next to find shorts. So let's go ahead and get rid of our horizontal support. Look for things that are hor at horizontal res resistance. Quite a few there as well. Let's see how much we've got. Oh, we have five pages of that. That's just a lot of information to go through. So from there, maybe maybe you want to look for some other things as you go along. We're just going to read through a few of them so you can see. I know a lot of people. We're going to get rid of resistance for a second. I know a lot of people like to look for volume shelves or volume shelf launch pads to see things that are sitting someplace that might launch upwards. Okay, so or downwards, really, if the launch pad doesn't work. But so this is one of those things that people really like to look at. One that I look at occasionally, you can check out its volatility, its expansion, if it's on a parabolic rise or fall inside and outside days, people love a lot. So let's drill down there a little bit. Let's look for thing, things that are having inside day. Okay, but also but also are, are at a volume shelf launch pad and see if we've whittled down our pages a little bit. Look at that. Now we're sitting down to one page as we go there. And let's say we want to look for a few more things. Guess what? We have here our watch list that we created in our very first video. So we can now search by sector if we want as well. I am not a stratter, but I will tell you that a lot of people love the strat and use and use these things. I couldn't begin to explain what all of them mean, but there are people in our trading discord that use them on a regular basis to be successful. I'd advise coming in there and asking questions to those folks on what they do with the strat to be successful there. So this has drilled us down a little bit, got shrunk our page. And this is what I really try to preach when we're talking about all the different tools in the platform is starting with a large subset 
of tickers and then drilling down into ones to find actionable trades so you're not looking at a thousand different things. And by clicking this plus, you just get a lot of informa a lot of information that you can see as you go along. Very, very, very simple to read, very simple to understand. And from there, you can, you can start to draw the plays. I always suggest this, going to the charts page, pulling up this individual ticker, checking its net flow, checking its dark pool levels, seeing where support and resistance are, checking its gamma to see if they match. You're going to hear me repeat these same things over and over again, you know, with that gamma matching the support resistance or matching a dark pool level. And from there, really drawing out your long and short thesis ideas. And then from there, you just got to execute. All right, that is Scanny. I will tell you, there are so many settings, folks. It would take us an hour to go through this video if we read everything. All right, it really would. It would take a very, very, very long time. Nobody wants to listen to me talk for an hour. They've already been listening to me talk for quite a few hours already as they've moved through all of these videos. So that is all for now. Everybody have a good day and stay safe out.